Hello everyone, let's talk about uh, graphical methods to determine a reaction order. Um, so the integrated rate laws were used for zero first and second order reactions for one reactant. And we can use graphical data that from the laboratory that measures things that are equivalent to concentrations such as color, um, pressure, um, acidity, conductivity, anything that is equivalent to concentration can be measured over a period of time in the lab um, in order to determine the change in concentration for unit time. Okay, And we can plot those data. Uh, typically, there's instrumentation that will plot the data um, as you're collecting it. Once you collect the data, then you would then predict which of the orders it could be based upon the best fit to the data. Okay, so the best fit is we propose each one of these different fits to the data we collect, say which one does it match the best. So if it's zero order, the, the raw data that you collect, the concentration versus time, is already going to be linear. Okay, so Zero order reactions are pretty rare. Uh, first and second order are pretty uh, commonplace. Um, so first order, you would just take the original data and then change the um, y axis to the natural log of the concentration. So you would take the concentration and change it, okay? And then the second order, you would take the original data and change the y-axis to one over concentration. And then each of those you put into Excel and see which one would fit the best. So if you, again, get a straight line plot for your raw data, it would be consistent with a zero order where you would have a slope of negative of the rate constant. So whatever the slope is, you would get the rate constant uh, from that slope, okay? So it's going to be a negative slope because a negative of a negative is positive, so the rate constant is a positive number. You will also get a negative K from the slope of the natural log of <clears throat> the concentration for the first order fit, and the only one with a positive slope would be the second order, um, and that would be K. And then you can see here how each of these lines up to the y equals mx plus b format. Okay, so again, x is always going to be time. Uh, y is going to be different things depending on which one you're trying to fit. Um, so you can't have all three. It has to be one of them, okay? There will be questions where you're asked to figure out the initial concentration from the um, graphical data. Just remember the intercept is B. Um, for zero order, the intercept would be the concentration. For first order, you would have to take E, right, raised to the value of the Y intercept to figure out the initial concentration. And for second order, you would have to take uh, the reciprocal value of the intercept to be able to figure out a naught, so each one of these gives a um, gives information. So um, this is just an example here where raw data is collected in a tabular form, and then you can see from each one of these that the most likely um, rate law would be first order, given that that's the only one that fits a straight line. Now, if you were in Excel, you would simply fit those data to a linear fit, and then you can use that equation to figure out the information that you would want from those data.